The overall goal of this procedure is to form Candida albicans biofilms and examine their susceptibility against antifungal agents. This is accomplished by first forming these fungal biofilms on the wells of 96 well microtiter plates. Then, antifungals are added to the preformed biofilms and incubated for 24 to 48 hours. Following this incubation, a colorimetric method that measures metabolic activity of cells within the biofilms is used to measure the activity of these antifungals in order to establish the minimum inhibitory concentration of antifungals against biofilms. Ultimately, results can be obtained that show the ability to form biofilms and antifungal susceptibility testing through a simple and easy 96-well microtiter plate-based method coupled to a colorimetric reading. The main advantage of this technique is that it is easy, relatively inexpensive, highly reproducible, and allows for the formation of multiple equivalent biofilms. In addition, it is compatible with the 96-well platform technology commonly available in most research and clinical laboratories. The implications of this technique extend towards the therapy of candidiasis, since very often these infections are associated with the biofilm formation. Using proper microbiological handling techniques, retrieve a loopful of cells from a fresh subculture of C. albicans on a saborau dextrose agar plate slant and inoculate into a 125 milliliter Erlenmeyer flask containing 25 milliliters of yeast peptone dextrose broth. Place the culture in an orbital shaker set at 180 RPM and 30 degrees Celsius and incubate it overnight. Following the overnight incubation, pour the yeast cultures into 50 milliliter conical